Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of the Daily Faction series. Once again, the guy from the second episode, which has no idea that this one even existed, it was far out in the open and there was pretty much next to no chance he would even find this, found it. So I finished off with bedrock, not really you know, needed now, but that has gone, so it is definitely a This Means War. Rocky is online right new, and what he's going to be doing is uh, he's looking for a uh, the base that someone has shown him once in the past. I feel sorry for him, but that's the aim of the game, isn't it? And uh, what we're going to do is just raid it, simple as that. As soon as we find it, we're going to raid it. So I have C fly apparently, because of my... Um, it did work before anyway, that's just, oh crap, awkward. Um, it did work anyway earlier, there we go, okay. I had it activated already. And that means I can just fly around, um, which gets me away from danger quite nicely. It's also a perk of being a donator. Everything's in the description again below. Uh, I don't actually know where I am because I ran so far to get to this base with a tip off. And believe it or not, it was just taken. That's what is so bizarre about it. That's why I'm really questioning his his uh, morals of whether he actually knew it was there or whether he kind of I, I guess hacked his way there because there's no way honestly if someone was just fly around on a whim of finding that on their own not a hope in hell we are a good 4,000 5,000 blocks away from the spawn not a chance so he's done something I didn't claim it either I just did set home now unless he's got access to the database and we can find out where Flubber Jubber is I don't know, but he's taken everything bedrock wise and things like that and all of those Victorian kits so he's pretty much heads on on that which is quite annoying, quite upsetting but I did come away with certain things um, like like all of this stuff in my inventory and all of the Victorian stuff as you know from the other episodes so we're, we're not too bad down, we're not too uh, down in the dumps but I'm upset that we've lost a good base, a, a solid structure where we could begin to mine below all of the ground, get everything that we needed and start a really solid base. Again with this server, it's in the morning when everyone's American, Canadian, everything else, even Australian probably. And no one's on. It's upsetting, but stuff happens, doesn't it? So, you know, I come on in the evening sometimes just on a whim. So I might be able to come on and do a little bit of PvP raiding, but without voice, anything like that, I don't know yet. But, series for now is just me. I'm hoping to get other people involved in it, but I don't know who to get involved. Um, personal, person, person wise. <laughs> person, person. Um, and then we're just going to do an exploration of the map or just trying to set up our own base and then we're going to raid everybody who comes on. As soon as they come on, I've got an idea actually, with, uh, if I was to have another person, is to have them spawn at the base and us to just follow them out. That would be a really good episode, but uh, we'll see. And I do know where I am now because I actually came this way on the way down this place. Now, I've, again, you cannot see the IP, the um, what's it called, whatever um, the coordinates are because of my webcam. But I have a feeling that that guy uses um, a texture pack, the see-through texture pack, because again, there's absolutely not a chance that he's found that place. And also, what is going on with the water when I go underground? I cannot see water. Is there an option for that? Customization, field of view, uh, what am I looking for now? Video settings, smooth lighting, maximum graphics, fancy. Is there any reason why I can't see underground water wise? I don't know. If you can give me a shout for it, oh, let's put up the um, thing actually. Render distance, put it up to 15 chunks. Hopefully I shouldn't scroll my game to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, maybe maybe we should just put it back down and just continue the episode. Fifteen blocks and it does that. Okay, it wasn't on my side. I'll tell you, it wasn't server side either. That was client side. I have a feeling this is a base because of the shape of it, but I don't think it was. That's the only reason I came over here. I didn't really want to say it at the time because I feel like an idiot. It's just like he's been completely cut out. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Someone's tired. Four videos in the morning. Someone's tired. Uh, so I was like, oh, maybe, maybe it is, but I don't think it is the base at all. I'm gonna go back to the spawn. I think that's the best option for now, and leave on the other side of it rather than going the other way, because it seems to be a place that I don't know just because of maybe I do it that it's not, but I want to uh, just explore the other side. Oh, sweet, sort swing. 
<laughs> you ready or sword? Spawn exit, go out 100 to 200 blocks to uh, build. And this is part of the spawn as well. It's pretty nice little building. It's a shame you can't raid something like that. Shame that there's no cities that you can't just like break down, kind of but not break them down. It makes any sense at all. Um, head on this way. So I've got a lot of food because if you didn't know, uh, it wouldn't have said. I need to stop doing that. Um, I killed a lot of pigs on the way to the adventurous area. And I was eating the food that I was eating, and I was running, and I was eating, and I was running, and it was crazy. So much stuff has been uh, killed over the time. Because it's really handy that it actually just makes the, like, kills a pig and it immediately is cooked. I love that. I think it's fantastic. Obviously, a lot of servers do that, and it's not even a server, it's more of a sword. It's got fire on it. So it's cool, but yeah, I like that idea. It means you don't have to blimmin' stop every two seconds to uh, do things. Now, where am I going? Is the question I want to ask myself. Let's go over this hill here, over this mountain. Ah, oh, horse. We could get ourselves a horsey. Oh, hello. Is this... Nah, this is normal. This is natural, isn't it? Oh, no, it's been mined. It's been mined, definitely. But it's too, like, random. That's with the random pick. Right, let's keep going. I know, though. Would someone have a base around this part? They've obviously not had it there. It's definitely not underwater. Nah, I think we're pulling on loose strings here. It's unfortunate. Let's keep heading this way. I do think someone's mined that out, though, because of the way it's kind of um, styled. I can't see in the water. I don't understand. If they updated the game and I just don't know about that or something, it's really bad. It means you can't see what you're doing even further. Right. Maybe underground here. Maybe. I don't know. It looks too natural to me, and there's no walls that's gone missing, so... I don't think it's, it's anything. I will check further, just have a little dazzle, dizzle dazzle, but I don't think this is a base. Or I don't think it will lead to a base, it's the more important word. Ah, nope, nothing at all. Absolutely shattered, honestly. Talking constantly just brings it out of you, honestly. Honestly. Now then, we could do some coal, we could do some levels. Um, not actually got as many levels as I thought I would, but total level 60 on the mine and now 61. Goodness gracious me. Right then, that, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. There we go. I could do with getting um, a settlement which isn't hack raided, and then I would be able to actually store all of this stuff, and then I could actually continue going. Uh, I think if you like, you can set home to things as we know, but then I think there's a way that you can kind of prevent they claim the land. I don't think people can build on it or destroy on it, but they can still raid on it. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. Uh, I have to look into that for this server anyway. Uh, let's continue going over the hills. Oh, what the? <laughs> and if I was on 15 blocks, I would have been able to see that a long time ago, but no, obviously not. Let's go see what this place is over here. I still have uh, Rocky online, hopefully, and he is under the um, command as soon as he finds what we're looking for uh, building wise he will teleport me so if i did random teleport and i'm in the middle of something then that's unfortunate but it is what he's been told to do this looks very man-made not the hills itself but like the way that they've broken down it looks very very man-made and there's that in the sky which looks like it's been raided already uh there's oh there's an obsidian there oh and yes here we go to everyone in Nightmare, we have set up this underground base. No, fine. Make your own chest as well and separate dorms for yourself. Don't teleport anyone here, even the YouTubers. <laughs> and then they've got a little set going on here. So this is a personal s set of things with... Ah, that's all this here. Can I open this? Shadow Kid stuff. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So, he's, there's like, this has been set up by, uh, obviously, an owner someone's found it and gone, oh you know what, this is this is the perfect place to hide. So they can put their own stuff as well, cheeky people. Sharpness 50, cactuses, cactuses, I uh, don't really f know if I need like this kind of stuff. It's a mediocre raid at best, it's got everything I've already got, um, but it's just like equipment that I might need. So sp oak wood would be a decent kind of thing to have. Uh, Trapdoors, uh, I don't think I need trapdoors. I don't know why I've got 16 of them, or 64 even. 
Leather is pointless. Cooked chicken, if I've only got one of it, it's pointless. Uh, don't know if I need sticks. I've got all of the wood I need. Dark oak isn't very nice. Oak wood's a bit pooey. But then I need that. I've got 18 chests. I have no idea where I found all this stuff. But anyway, let's see where we are. Uh, that was probably the worst block I could possibly have knocked out. Um, okay, it seems that we're in water, just in general, just in water. So I'm, I'm flooding it, I'm flooding it, flooding it, I'm flooding it like this. Oh, can I get up to the top? See, I just can't see where I am. Is it the helmet that I'm wearing, maybe? Let's see. It's the helmet! Hooray, we figured it out. Okay, now I can see underwater. It's given me um, underground breathing, but I can't see because of it. Right, okay, so that was a an average rate, probably below average raid, but now we're in the middle of absolute sod all, so thank you very much Rocky for finding the Shadow Kids little section. Um, unfortunate that we didn't have better stuff to be honest, but hey ho. Uh, I need to get to this water, then I'll put my uh, helmet back on, but I'm not going underground with that, that is absolutely no go. I will read what the Victorian kit gives me as well now, because I'm going to be a bit sceptical about that. Absolute rubbish going underground, I've seen that. However, the rest of the things for it is brilliant, but not the underground thing, that's silly. Oh, thank god, <laughs> finally. I mean, it's still rubbish underwater, but what do you expect? There's no light, there's no glowstone, etc. So, I feel like we're around the place that we were as well. Just the same kind of thing, right? Here we go. Aqua Affinity. So, that's why I wasn't drowning, but I couldn't see, and I thought, what is this? I've been, it's been a long time since I've been playing Minecraft. I apologise very much for that. Up we go up here. And then we can get a bit of bearings. If I was on 15, then I'd be able to find it easy. But is that where we were before? Or is that just a random... That might be where we were before. This all looks like it's been like broken down or man-made or something. But I doubt it has been. This is this is going to just, just upset me as soon as I get really close. I can just tell. A bunny rabbit! Yeah! Um... Uh, it just looks like a load of rubbish landscape that's like built in itself. And a flying stick, which is fantastic. Well played, Minecraft. Fantastic job there. I'm going to go this way and we'll see where we can get. But so far, we've, we've got on the raid in action. Uh, we've, we've explored a little bit more. I found somewhere that was obsidian. It was obsidian box. I wish we could get back there. The only way I could be able to get back there is go back to spawn and run back to it and just hope that it's not been raided. But the TNT explosions in the sky kind of would refer otherwise. If this is water and it's an ocean, then I'm just absolutely sacked off. I'm going to be screwed. That looks like a base as well. It's so upsetting. Everywhere looks like bases. So you want a base, base. And you're like, oh man, I need a base right now. No. This is just pretty much like the nicest stuff ever though. Man, this could be like the best build I've ever done kind of thing. Right, let's have a go on up here. We shall... Well, we've been teleported here for one, right? So we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no way that someone could just randomly find this place, okay? That's my agreement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up to the top of this place and I'm going to just, just, you know, chill out, explore it a little bit better, get its resources in the next episode and set up a little base on this part here. This is a very, very, very nice little area to be hosted. In the middle of absolute nowhere, there's been nothing shown on screen. I've been teleported to a random location even further. If somebody finds this, hacker, I will see you in the next episode.